I got a ton of questions after my Hyperdip video, and the one question that was asked over and over was, when you take the lug nuts off, what happens to the Hyperdip? Well, that's a damn good question. We'll find out today. The reason why that question was being asked was because if you watch the video, which I'll put a link to at the end, and that video at this point in time has 41,000 views, so there's, there's quite a bit of eyes on it. I sprayed the hyper dip on the wheels and the emblems, but specifically on the wheels, um, I left the wheels on, which is standard practice to do. So, but when you spray the wheels on, you spray the valve stems and the lug nuts. So what happens when you remove the lug nuts? Is there any damage caused? I'm gonna go jack it up and take the lugs off and see what happens. So we're gonna get a close up on the wheels right now so you can see the condition of the lugs before I remove them. I wanna get in close to the wheel and the lug nuts so you can see the condition right now. Lug nuts have never been touched. I've never been removed, so today will be the first day removing them. And we'll take a look at them right after I zap them off. So I took only three off, I don't need to take all of them off, but let's get a close, close up of these guys. So obviously didn't get hyper dip uh, product on the inside of the lug because they're recessed. So that's, if it focuses in the head of the lug, that's actually what shows. So I'll put all three up. So you can see where the socket hit it, it did come up, but there was not very much product on there anyway. But all the heads are still in good condition. So when I put them back on, we'll take a look at it again. So I'm gonna get a close up of the lug nuts after I put them back on. And the good news is that because the body of the lug nut is recessed within the rim, you can't see the damage that was caused by taking them off. Yes, there will be some damage to the side of the lug nut when you remove the wheels, if you spray the wheels with hyper dip while they're on the vehicle. In my case, because the lug nuts were recessed within the rim, uh, you cannot see the damage. So the head of the lug nut was just fine, and I'm good with that. I don't have to change the lug nuts out. So just keep that in mind if you're going to hyper dip, and I appreciate you watching the video today. It's just a quick one, but please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because we have a lot more content and installs coming up. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.